everyone to the, this episode of CSSE 1001 exam review we'll be covering list copying and modification. You guys might not have seen it in during the course with your assignments however it's a key fundamental theory you guys need to understand especially for the exams. There's always one or two questions discriminating between the sixes and sevens so make sure you guys have a good practice understand it and we'll get started. So First question we're going to do is in 2018, semester one, question eight. So, again, you've always got paper and pen. Let's write it out. So, we get given this code and we're asked, what is the value of x after the statement is evaluated? Cool. First line, x equals a, b, c. Right? I'm lazy, I'm not putting the quotes in. So, y equals x. What does this line mean, y equals x? Well, realistically, it's just going y equals this list. Maybe it's more helpful that if I put an arrows in there. So you have one list in memory and it just happens to be that your variable x and your variable y both point to the same list. So when we go to the third line and we go let's change the one element of y to a zero, what happens is we go well here's our y, here's our list and change it to zero. Right? Then it goes what is the value of x after the statement is evaluated? So, we just print out x, it's a0c, right? Because y just points to the same list as x, if we change y, we change x. If we change x, we change y. So I'm going to divert from the original question here, but this is again a very valid question you might see in your exam. And it's a very small change in your code, but it's a very big change in your answer. The thing here is if you look at line 2, instead of just going y equals x, y equals a copy of x. So let's have a look at what it means. So x equals a, b, c, right? Just normal list. y equals a copy of x. So now y equals a copy. So we have two lists in memory. So if you change y, you will not change x, right? They're two very different things. So when we change y, the one element of y, we get rid of this b, and we just make it a 0. So y is still a 0 at c, but if you print out x, and as this question asks, what is x? a, b, c, right? Two very different things. If you want to have a Google of it, just Google like Python deep and shallow copy. There's a lot of resources online, but that's the basic gist of it. So y equals x, same list in memory. y equals copy of x two very different things, right? We'll get into this more. So, 2015, semester one, question nine. So, we get given this function, copy into idle, see how it goes, but it's basically just overcomplicated dot append method, right? You get a list x, and you get some number z, and you just go x dot append z. Question nine, let's do it together. y equals one, two, three. Again, you have paper in the exam, use it. One, two, three. In the second line, when reading in Python, left to right, in to out. So, G, Y, so you're not making a new one, you're just using the same Y, and then you just add a 4 to it, right? Add a 4. Okay, then you go to the next bit, it dot extend. Let's change colors. Hopefully, this might help with the clutter of code. Uh, let's go black. And then you work in to out. So, in a bit, is over here with this G method. Notice here we have Y brackets. So this is making a copy. I'm just going to call it Y1, but note it's two very different lists in memory now. So if you change Y1, you will not change Y. Keep that in mind. So we do call G on Y1 and we add an extra 4 to it. Right? And then we fill back up and we add this and this together. So y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Right, answer is D. If you're not sure, pause the video, copy it and paste the code in, print a bunch of stuff out, make sure you understand it. It's key to understanding. I'm going to let you guys do question 10. Pause the video now. Okay. I'm sure you've paused it. I hope you have tried to even attempt it 
because you guys are the ones ultimately sitting the exam, right? So let's get started. Pen and paper, y equals one, two, three. Okay, first thing, left to right, g, copy of y, four. So remember, we're making a new list in memory. One, two, three, and then we're adding a four to it. So far, so good. Then we dot extend. We have a look at this new this end bit. G of y. So we have a look at the original y over here, right? We add a four to it. And then we go add the first thing and the second thing together. So y1 dot extend one, two, three, four. I'm running out of space. So you may immediately go, cool, C is the answer. But Actually, if you read the question, yes, the end output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, but what is the value of y after? So if you print out y, you will print out 1, 2, 3, 4. The answer is A. Read what the question is saying, read what code you're given. Okay. Last one. 2018, semester one, question 15. So what is the value of x after the following code is executed? You get this function f, you get a list l, and you get two, let, uh, two numbers a and b. You add a, you append a to l, and then you add b to l, and then you return that l. Pause the video if I haven't already said that, tempt it. Okay, x equals 5 and 9, right? So, x equals left to right so let's have a look at this one f x 2 1 we enter the function f and notice how it's not a copy of x so l actually points to the same list currently right and then a equals to 2 b equals to 1 so far so good l dot append a so so far we've seen pretty much the same then, next line, third line, L equals L plus B. This is where it gets a little tricky. L plus B, what's L? So, L is 5, 9, 2. You plus B, so that's 1. Right? And that is now equal to L. So, we've just now changed L. There's now a second list in memory. That's key to understanding. So when we come back out, we've returned L, X equals, X equals whatever we return. So it's a five, nine, two, one, plus five, nine, two. So the answer is C. Key understanding, having two lists in memory where you, Y is equal to a copy of X. And if you have the same list in memory, so Y equals X. Key understanding, test it out. Good luck, guys. This is really important to understand. Uh, Piazza is your friend.